And I've known them to live 20 years. And Bright yellow spots help it to hide, but they also warn predators to leave this salamander alone. He lives in a 65-acre forest preserve in Homewood, Alabama. Up there and look under that yeah, that looks like a good People search for spotted salamanders after the first hard, warm rain of the new year. Here he is, here he is. That's when they leave the woods and cross the road to reach soggy bottomland, where they will breed. Lots of them would go, and, and they do a little underwater breeding dance. Uh, I mean, kind of back and forth. Like The one time I saw it in 30 years watching, there's like spots all over, spots moving like this, like some Walt Disney Fantasia. The males deposit a spermatophore that looks like a tiny white mushroom. The female picks it up and then attaches to a twig a sack of fertilized eggs, which swells with water and can be as big as a softball. It's an amazing life form and lifespan here amongst us. And uh, children especially just recognize the magic of it, especially the yearly seasonal migration. Elk and woodland buffalo no longer migrate through the woods of what is now suburban Birmingham. But you can still find small creatures migrating here if you know where and when to look. And I don't see any. The city bought 33 acres of bottomland from a nearby university to keep it from being developed and protected it with a conservation easement. We're very proud of what we have done in uh, preserving this area, and uh, I think the reward for that is with the kids and how much they enjoy it. And not necessarily just the salamanders, but hiking and learning about a lot of different forms of nature. It's a magic thing you don't have to explain to kids. And at the salamander festival we have every year, a lot of adults, that childlike magic gets reawakened. Birmingham has grown so fast over the last 40 years, it incorporated lots of little islands of green space. And we never appreciated them until uh, development got so intense that they began to disappear. It's a wonderful green space. If you can save the woods and the wetlands for the salamander, you save the woods and wetlands for lots of other things. I just hope we can save it for, for our kids and, uh, and our grandkids. For Assignment Earth, I'm Gary Stryker.